ITFDG Joseph Ari on fire for allegedly sponsoring Christian militias to foment, torment religious crisis. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Allegations of fraud and misappropriation of funds are currently rocking the industrial training funds. ITF, even as the Director General of the agency, Joseph Ari, is accused of sponsoring activities that are not within the mandate of the agency. Our reporter gathered that most of the funds donated and budgeted by the National Assembly are used for extra budgetary activities, among other things. Recall that the Middle Belt Journalist Forum recently accused the DG of using the ITF money to sponsor Christian militias and just access to foment religious crisis in the Middle Belt region. Our correspondents gathered that Mr. Joseph Ari brought Kekena Pep motorcycles for militias to cause crisis even as religious tensions rises in Plateau State. The Manufacturing Association of Nigeria, MAN, recently at a public hearing in the National Assembly expressed worries that the monumental frauds and the ITF could spell doom for a donation of 3 million euros expected soon by the agency. The association argued that the money could not end up in private pockets but used to sponsor things not within the mandate of the agency. As a result of these allegations, many stakeholders are also worried about the actions of Mr. Joseph Ari, stating that the frauds at the agency could jeopardize future donations of funds by Western world to help indigenous Nigerians to acquire the necessary training they need. All efforts to reach Mr. Joseph Ari to react to these allegations proves abortive as he was not answering his phone. Well, let me say, I don't even understand what is going on. So you are saying money they come in, then person they use the money, they sponsor, because I know this matter no clear. You know clear. They will go and do little research on this man. He no clear at all. So just like people are coming out to say, the, the Boko Haram, the Islamic, people are not coming out to say the Christians as well are sponsoring terrorist activities. Ha, <laughs> oh, wow. They are not happy because he's a Christian who is in charge of the agency. Well, we don't know for sure. We definitely do not know for sure. So now you're defending, you're defending, okay, defending him without investigating it. Without investigating it because he's a Christian. If it's another religion, you will abuse and support the writer without denying it is the way you want your country. Okay, with, without denying it. Is this the way you want your country to progress with this attitude? Well, let me say, like I said, all those things, this matter is undergoing investigation. If this man is really, really innocent, then they have got it all wrong. If this is a set of them, it is all wrong. But if at the end of the day, he's guilty. Ah. But me, it sounds bizarre. Sincerely, it really does sound very, very strange. Okay. It's just like someone telling the public that you're the president of America when you know that the country is a well-known country in the universe. I mean, you cannot just lie on someone that people in the state knows his moves, both lifestyle and so on. Okay. Just watch and see if they eventually succeed in this slides they're cooking. The next DJ will be a full animal. We all know their plans and it is not new to us. <laughs> While I am struggling not to come out and say it is true. Sincerely, I don't want to come out and sound like, oh, it is true. But sincerely, I just hope that investigations are made. And truly, truly, deep down. If this man is not guilty, then ha, those who accuse him, they're going to pay you. He feels like making student for damages. Damaging of his, um, should I say his name? Okay. The headsmen have, that have messed up and killed many in that region, how many of them were brought to book? I understand where you're coming from. I understand this is very painful. Have they prosecuted the former accountant general that stole over 160 billion naira? Are you kidding me? Now there the money don't reach. 160 billion naira. Yay. Wahala. What's investigation? To investigate like this the second time. They are trying to set this man up. Really? I'll go and find out about this. Sir. I'll go and find out about it. 
if you are intelligent and honest, you will not view this issue like a jihadist with a critical perspective. The man mentioned in this write-up may not be in support of some satanic move in the agency. So there are ways. They are looking for ways to nail him and call for replacement. With evidences of those who stole billions from government to date. How many of them have been persecuted? Hmm. You have a point. Okay. What is a Christian militia? Can these wicked Muslims see their hatred for Christians has put a permanent curse on them? The blood of the Christians continue to haunt them. This might be true, this might not be true, but if truly this man has been investigated before, then sincerely, ah, uh, I'll go find out more, but this is looking like a plot. Just looking like a plot. With everything going on in this country, with everything going on, there are some things you hear, and you just jump right into conclusion, but make we just give these people the benefit of a doubt, sure. Hope, hoping that it is worth it. I don't know why we are still holding on to this one Nigeria of a thing. If people are not tired, I am tired of one Nigeria. Hmm. Okay. So you just believe it is true without investigation because it's not the other religion. What is even the connection of this allegation to the person concerned? If not, use your hatred and marginalization of nothing Christian. Now, wow. A lot of people are coming out to spew things and making me see things from both angles. And that is why I'm coming out here to see... If this man is innocent, or more, and Nigeria was the same country, he's about to sue these people for damages. Okay. This, okay, I wonder when Keke has become weapons to use to fight. My dear, I hear Keke na pep. This is the work of Islamic bigotries in the government to bring the man down. What did they do to Boko Haram's sponsors? This Islamic bigotric action will soon cause another civil war. Exactly. It is capable of bringing civil war. War is not a small case. It's not a moi moi case. So. Let everybody behave well though. I've said it at this point in time. We should be careful of our utterances. Very careful because <laughs> things don't so deteriorate. Where we say, now someone say, then we set up this time bombos. We will sit on. Okay. You people have started. Who are the Christian militias? If you don't have anything to write, please put your pen back into its case. When, when have Christians and just ever started any fight or crisis? What do you want? The governor has given you just not. What else do you want? Okay. Fraud in whatever color or shape is not acceptable. But I am miffed by the speed with which he was identified and mentioned as a sponsor of Christian militias. For God's sake, we are the sponsors of Boko Haram and the bandit terrorists. USC and Dubai have mentioned them and even jailed some. Their names are the federal government, yet government cannot even mention their names and prosecute them. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news, but so thank you for tuning in to listen.